Hi everyone, and welcome to another Davy Shambles how-to video. Uh, in this one I'm going to show you how to modify Pram SFO files for Remote Play for PSP. So, first thing we're going to do is, which I've done already, I've opened up FileZilla for the FTP client to change over stuff so my PlayStation is on and my external USB is plugged in with all my games and stuff um, and then we're going to get Pram FSO Editor so we're going to double click on this and it boots up there's everything here and then we go down to start menu and you're going to have a portable hard drive or something plugged into the computer. So you go to My Computer. I'm sorry about the screen being too close. My TV is massive and my room's not very big. So that's where it is there, named Swiss Knife in F. So we double click on that. And then I've made, inside this, I've made a folder called remote play SFOs so we double click on that and then here's a list of stuff that I've made already but um, for this demo I'm going to show you how to do Dead Island for the PSP so double click on that as you can see there's a new folder inside that as well okay so we'll come out of this and we close that down so it's a look at now becomes a window in the bottom of the screen. And then with this one we just cancel that one off because this is XP I'm running on. And then my computer close that down as well. So we've got remote SFO folder open. Well minimize at the bottom. Ram SFO editor and the FTP client. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the FTP client. And we're going to go to this side, left here, and then open your storage device, double click, and then scroll down to your file named Remote Play SFOs, which is there. Double click, and then Dead Island here, see I've already named it. And there's a new folder inside. So, and we go to the other side here. So that's my PlayStation files. And then we scroll down to Dev USB, double click, and then games. And then we're going to find Dead Island. Somewhere. I'm sure it was near the top somewhere, but I can't remember. I thought it was 01 something. I know it's one of these bad boys. Let's have to find the sucker. Here somewhere, trust me. Just trying to find it. There he is. Okay, Dead Island. So we double click on that. Then PS3 game, double click on that. And then we're going to grab the Prime F SFO file and just drag it over to the left side of these storage devices and just drop it in there. Okay, so that creates a Pram SFO file. So we're going to go into new folder, 
double click on that, back over to the other side, do the same thing, drop it in. Alright, so you've got two copies in one folder, right? So now we go down to our Pram SFO editor, click on that, and then we go to that little black folder there. It's got a bit of a dead arm going on by holding up this camera. So, up to the black box, double click, and now so where do you want to look in for it? So, we're going to go to my computer and then Swiss Knife 1, which is where my hard drive is, external hard drive is. Double click on that, and then over to Remote Play SFO, double click. Dead Island, and then the first one here. Double click on that, and it brings it up inside the box. Okay, so now because it's obviously on the PSP, right? You obviously check that's that's your firm where the system's running on 355, and then we're going to take this 720 off because it's going to be all pixely because you know what the game's like, and then take out. DTS digital surround sound. We leave background music checked because that all needs to be checked, and this LPCM needs to be checked as well. Uh, that's PlayStation Move support. Don't worry about that. Let's see where it's there in the middle. PS Vita slash PSP AVC slash AAC. That's the one you want there. Okay. And then the parent lock level, parental lock. We're going to take that down to zero and unlock it. Okay, so that's that for Dead Island. Okay, and then we're going to save that bad boy. And then it's in that same bit there. So we're just going to, that's the original one, but you've got a copy of it in a new folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to save param there and press dot sfo in capitals. And then save right, it says, do you want to overwrite yes okay now now you've done that go back to your FTP filezilla and then just back it up so it recognizes the file again back to your main bits dead island and that's the one you've converted there all right and here's the one that's in the game folder so right click Delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And then we grab this one. Keep it away from the folders when you drop it in because it'll drop it into that directory. So just come down where the icons are, PNG files, and just drop it in. All right, and that's done. Okay. So then now we're going to flip over to the PlayStation. I'm going to turn my PSP on as well while we're at it quickly. Right. Here goes the PSP. Out of black box. And then on the PSP, we're going to do this. We're going to go over to show you. Alright, we're going to go over to Network, Remote Play, press X, and then it says connect via private network, that's your Wi-Fi, yes, I know you can't see it because it's blurry, but it says OK, and then it comes up with a list, so it's my hub, and then you want PlayStation R in brackets, and 3 on the PlayStation, you're going to want to go to Network, sorry, yeah, Network, Remote Play, hit X, and some white writing should come up. That's ready to go, and then on the PSP, where this writing is, it says, where it's flashing at the bottom, it says PlayStation R in brackets and 3, hit X. It's doing its thing. Right, and there you can see, 
that's the screen from my PlayStation, yeah? And then we're going to go to Multi Man now. Okay, Multi Man. My own personal Multi Man. My build. Go into that. I'm really sorry about the camera wobbling. It's really hard once you've been holding it up for a while, you get a dead arm, you know. The other hand hold it for a bit. Right. Okay. Selecting Dead Island. Not there, it's up here. There it is. Dead Island, okay? See that? Right. Press X. And it'll kick us back to the XMB, just like the PlayStation does. go and then we go up as usual to the disc in the drive and it says dead island and then the picture will go see this is my picture that I made because it's got the dev element menus in it as well the cheat menus and stuff so then we're going to press X on that on that and hopefully okay this game uses an auto save feature and we're going to go yes okay on that and there it is dead island I also get Batman Arkham City to work as well. That works okay. You can change the um, button arrangement as well on this in settings. So if you press the home button, settings, and you can change the button arrangement so you can use the L2 and R2 and select and the D press select and the D-pad to turn left and right and stuff like that. 